Hi guys and welcome to another Kemikaze creation video. Here we are, uh, made some good progress since the last video. Um, as you will know, in the last one I discovered that uh, yeah, I had a Celica clutch plate, obviously for the Celica box that I was running behind this uh, car for ever since I bought it, it came with the Celica box behind it. And I've bought that new M20 uh, box um, from Wayne up in um, Queensland, just near Brisbane there. And I wanted to run that behind it to make it more original. Like this is the original 173 that it came out of the factory with. And putting that M20 behind it makes it even more original, uh, which is what I'm going for for this car at the moment. And uh, I've had my clutch turn up really good. I ordered it locally, which I was pretty happy about. They did have supply issues on the heavy duty clutch, so I've gone for a standard one, but this isn't a big horsepower motor, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I'll show you a bit of that gear and uh, we'll start to put it together. Okay, so I've purchased myself an Exceedy clutch. It is the standard edition. Um, but it does fit this uh, engine, which is probably the biggest bonus because it means I can put it back together. So as you can see there, I've got the clutch uh, sitting on the spline just to prove that that's good. Uh, I've got a new pressure plate uh, that came with the clutch and I've had my flywheel machined. I was going to use the flywheel I bought for the 202 build which is still sitting down with the engine builder. Uh, but when I went to pick it up today, he reminded me that we've had that balanced with the crank and all of the uh, rolling stock. So it's all matching and balanced uh, for that motor build. So uh, he said, just bring your flywheel down and I'll machine it for you. So 20 bucks and an hour's work. And he's machined my flywheel ready uh, for this new clutch and pressure plate so we should be all full steam ahead now the only thing i've got to check uh when i put this mal wood uh, i think they're called an ace um uh bearing uh the uh, throw out bearing on this gearbox if we come down here and just slide that off you can see the uh, throw out bearing that comes with the mal wood kit i just want to check that set up uh and make sure it's right, like there's a uh, few packers go behind that bearing to get the right pedal feel. So I just want to recheck all of that um, before I put it in, and then I'll start assembling this all up and getting it onto the motor. Um, here we go. So we're back to this stage. Uh, flywheel machined, um, and clutch and pressure plate on. And the beauty of that is I had a uh, alignment dowel come with a new clutch kit, which helped me align it all up. And I went and bought all new bolts. Like as I've been building this engine and subframe, I basically put all new bolts through it as I've done it. So new flywheel bolts, new clutch plate bolts. And uh, down here, I've got some new gearbox bolts ready to go as well. So it's looking good. Um, I just want to, again, as I said, check that thrust race. Uh, just check the position out. Got to go and find those specs again because I probably don't have mine. Uh, make sure that's right, which I'm sure it will be. Uh, and then slide the gearbox on and uh, probably mount the starter motor. So she's getting really close to going back in the car. Very happy with the progress. Um, I've taken my time with this one and uh, try to do everything right on the way through So uh, looking good All right guys, I'm just setting up the uh, button clutch uh, The ace clutch that comes with the Malwood kit and to do that you need a measurement off the uh, mounting face on the back of the motor and for mine it's about uh, 80 about 87, 85, 86, 87, but you need to minus what's, uh, what the distance is from this point down to the figures, down to the fingers, which is about 10 mil. So I've got 87 
minus a 10, so about 77 mil. So the second measurement you want, and this measurement should be five mil more than what we did on the motor. So again, from the mounting face to the face of the throw out bearing. So I've got um, about 83 mil. So I had 77, 78 up there, and I've got 83 here. So I'm about six mil, and that's perfect. We knew it says in the instructions about five mil, and I've got six, so I'm happy with that. So my hand was a little bit in the way where that ruler was measuring to, but it's down, down to this face. You'll find that this front area protrudes a little bit more, but this is the uh, face here that uh, pushes on the fingers. And basically, the 5mm has given you um, uh, free running, so it's not touching the clutch plate at all. There's about 5mm gap. And when you apply the clutch, that throwout bearing will take up that 5mm and then start depressing the fingers. We're definitely starting to look the part now. Um, got that M20 box on. Um, it is still a struggle, even with that alignment tool. Uh, I got it in, it slipped into the spline, but then getting the, um, the spigot bearing up into the crank is, is the next challenge. But anyway, I got it pretty close to where the dowels were lined up. I uh, got the bolts in it and, uh, and got it all even and slowly did them up and it just went so easily. There was no tension at all on those bolts. It, it just sort of screwed up to the face really gently. Um, I've uh, stuck a, a bar on the front of it and turned the engine over, make sure nothing is bound and uh, that is all looking good and I actually got a screwdriver in before I put this new starter motor on got a screwdriver in and just rotated the flywheel to make sure everything was still honky dory now speaking of this uh, starter motor I haven't tensioned it in yet but it's a nice bit of gear a high torque uh, starter motor for this engine I've actually bought it for the 202 but you know it's probably going to be a while, so I sort of may as well use all the gear on this, as I did with those engine mounts. Um, and then I'll just buy some gear as I build up the 202. The urgency's definitely gone off that motor. If this one gets in and uh, runs nicely in this car, um, I'm going to be really, really happy. So it's definitely coming together. Got a few little things to tidy up on it. Um, and my lifters are coming uh, this week, so I'll be able to finish up that rolling stock up the top end, the lifters and uh, push rods and roller rockers. Nothing's in there at the moment. I'm just uh, just waiting on those lifters that I've had resurfaced to turn up, and we'll be good to go. I've also uh, got up and done a bit of work in the front end. It looks a lot nicer. Use some of that glumpy tar paint it's filthy stuff to use but it does a good job and tidied up the inner guards uh, ready for that engine to slip back up in there because the engine bay was pretty good it was just in those inner guards that were a little bit messy so guys that's a wrap on uh, this video um, it's good to have that gearbox on and uh, as you can see down there the starter sitting in there that's a really nice little unit. I'm really happy with this motor and the way it's come together. I sort of started it out of frustration because my 202 was taking so long to get done down at the engine machinist. Um, and that's quite a technical motor. There's a lot of money and parts in that motor. Uh, I am sort of getting motivated to take it back and do it myself. Um, but we'll see how we go. So this little motor here was started through frustration uh, and uh, through retirement, I thought I need to get this uh, car back together and maybe move it on. It's going to be a struggle to move it on. I won't do it straight away, uh, uh, but uh, it probably will happen to put a bit of money into the coffers. So I can start working on that Celico sitting over behind there. That's going to be the next one. It's been sitting for way too long. Uh, and eventually moving on down to the Red Tirana, the uh, original G-Pack. Um, and that's what the 202 will go in. It'll go into that G-Pack. So it's 
it's pushed that need out a little bit uh, and this little motor should be very nice I'm really really impressed with it um, it should be a nice clean motor sitting in that engine bay and it's going to really add to this car and uh, hopefully make it reasonably desirable for someone to buy anyway guys that's it um, I'll be on to doing the lifters and uh, the roller rockers and all of that stuff in the next video I want to get all of them done and uh, sealed up before I start slipping this motor back up in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.